Yo, what it do? It's Lord Shu. I'm back with another episode of Three Wands, where knowledge is given to you for you to turn into wisdom. We back with the official first episode of Three Wands. So y'all already know who I am, but in case you're new to the channel, please subscribe and like the video. Leave a comment saying what's good, why you here. If you got a question, just, just leave a comment, yo. And if you don't know who I am, like I said before, I'm Lord Shu. I'm the host of Three Wands on SLR channel, which is the channel you're watching right now. Has so much different types of content on it relating to the lifestyle keys to the island, which is a new way that uh, you can apply some of the values to your own life. You don't have to adopt it wholly, but I would say uh, the information itself will be useful to your life. We talking about the first official episode so this is in alignment with the magazine hybrid manual which is free on my website shoelovesrebels.com you can get it for free as a digital download but if you want a hard copy you can pay for it on amazon just type in hybrid manual and lower shoe or you can go to my website hbsxpopup.com and you can order one directly from me so Let's get into it. The Book of Focus. So before I even get really into what the Book of Focus is about in Hybrid Manual, let's just for a second talk about Keys to the Island. Keys to the Island is my lifestyle that me and my cousin came up with when uh, we were living in Atlanta, working on my second demo, my second big, like, I, I had uh, bodies of work called Half Blood Soul. So I had volume one, volume two, and volume three, which I dropped in October of 2021. So we were working on volume two, have less on volume two. And me and him came together and uh, we had this, this idea of creating a lifestyle. <laughs> I met this uh, lady in Atlanta. She used to call me an, an immortal. And we used, to, we used to all call each other immortals because we just, you know, we, I don't know, we was on a different level, but <laughs> We called each other immortals and keys to the island was the lifestyle of the immortals. And then uh, my cousin, you know, he, he had his life going on and I had my life going on, but I adapted keys to the island wholly. I, I lived by it to the point where um, whatever goals and life that I had, I was following this to, to the maximum that I could. You know, sometimes I would slip up as any human, but I had to build the habit of living keys to the island. 100%. Let's go into what the keys are, what they actually are, and then we'll talk about the um, the book of focus. So, the keys that, that we lived by, which I live by to this day, I'm gonna just list them off. I won't go into them yet because we haven't gotten to the actual keys to the island. First, we gotta go through the initial steps so that we can adopt the lifestyle of keys to the island to be able to fully utilize it. So just just so we have this, I'll mention the keys probably several times throughout this series, but I'm gonna just go on the basics of what they are, like just listing them off. So the keys are listed as follows. Spiritual work, it's pretty obvious, doing spiritual work creating a, a relationship with um, whatever, whatever, e even if you consider it yourself, having a spiritual relationship with yourself, God, angels, ancestors, whatever, just creating that spiritual relationship, that spiritual work, master skills one by one, self-explanatory, study daily, collaborate with like-minded individuals, Complete daily goals. Set some, complete them. It, you build up that muscle. Show love. Lead with love. Self-reflection. You know, and be truth. Be truthful. So those are the keys that I live by religiously. <laughs> this is my religion. So this is what I follow. So those are the keys. Now, we're gonna go into the book of focus. And in my magazine, I say, if you don't have the book of focus down, then don't read the book of self, which is the, the second chapter of Hybrid Manual issue one. The book of focus 
is, you know, it's about focus. <laughs> it's about focus. Doing things one at a time. And uh, tribes, native tribes, they had specific people in their tribes called trackers who would, they would track animal tracks, they would track human tracks. <laughs> they would track just about anything. But in the tracking, they had a wide understanding of the environment around them by severe focus, <laughs> very, very severe focus. They focused on one thing at a time in their environment until they mastered it so much that if one thing was moved, they knew something had came, like a, a wild animal was, was in that environment or some somebody was there just from a severe focus by noticing one thing one at a time over time mastering your environment mastering the spaces around you as a as a person in the modern world we can apply that same old school concept to our own lives by having severe focus on the keys as i listed before but Let's just say you have a specific goal that you're trying to complete. The, the biggest thing that you want to master first before you even start trying to complete goals is focus. If you can't focus, it's going to take longer and it's going to be harder. And I had to learn that by doing things over and over and over again, failing and doing it over and failing and doing it over. I'm 32. I turned 33 this year and I can truthfully tell you that I've had to do things that should have took me a few months over a span of years because instead of just working on my mental state and my focus, I just was like, nah, I can do this. I can do this with, with no focus. I could just go into it. I had to realize that if I don't focus my habit muscle, it was gonna take me three times as longer, five times as longer, depending on whatever my goal was. So I was really uh, doing things to a detriment to myself which is why I'm, I'm making these videos because I want y'all, no matter what age, to figure it out with, by whatever information possible. And if I can be a part of delivering that information, then so be it. The Book of Focus. Here, I'll just read the excerpt from the Book of Focus. So, leaders solve problems. If, if you're doing anything, any kind of business, or just your life in general, you're the leader of your own life. You're the leader of yourself, right? unless someone else is guiding you, which at that point, you should focus on being a leader for yourself. So that's something that you can focus on. If someone else controls your life or guides your life, then you have to start building that habit muscle of focusing on leading your own life. So first you have to figure out what kind of life you want. And in Keys to the Island, the biggest focus that I, I focus on in my life is experience over materialism. So instead of chasing billions, gajillions of dollars, I'm chasing experiences that in turn lead to those billions and gajillions of dollars because I'm not chasing money. I'm simply living experiences in life so that my knowledge turns into wisdom and then I attract those things instead of chasing them and taking time and then making the mistakes hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of times over. I'm gonna read this expert excerpt again for you. Leaders solve problems. The number one problem of our world is distraction. Everything starts from distraction. And what I mean by that is, if you have a problem in your life that you can't solve, how focused are you to solve that problem, right? If you're being distracted by other things, goals, peers, or smaller goals that don't matter towards the main goal, the long-term goal, social media, it's just mindlessly scrolling all day long, you're not going to be able to really put your whole heart and effort into a single task. The solution to distraction is concentration. When you're able to concentrate, then you're able to focus as like a laser. When your concentration is so sharp that you're able to take your focus and it's like a like the little laser that the cats be scratching it. It's like that. And you point the laser directly at your goal. And nothing else is messing with you because your concentration is so, so impressive that any goal that you have, you'll be able to complete it. And probably pretty fast because you're concentrated on that one thing. Nothing else is taking your attention because you're not distracted. How does one concentrate? Through focus. 
Okay, we get that lure shoe, but I don't get it. How can I how can I focus? So these are my four ways that I in my life from just what I've gone through, how I focus. I organize, I prioritize, I practice, and I self-reflect, which is one of the keys and the keys to the island. Keep that in mind. And we we talked about the keys earlier, but no, you're gonna notice that self-reflection is a huge thing through this whole series. Every single video is gonna be one subject, so you can break it down, fully understand it. How can one focus on many things at once? Remember, we remember what I told you about the tracker, right? The tracker breaks things down one by one. So he organizes by priority to non-priority what he needs to focus on. A tracker will focus on the main parts, the priorities first, and then break it down piece by piece by organization. So he organizes what's important and what isn't important. And then he focuses on that every time he goes back into the forest over and over again. It's just a bunch of things, obviously, in every part of your life you have to focus on, right? But you don't wanna overwhelm yourself. You have to master each priority and then work your way down the list. What ways can I organize? Keeping a planner or a calendar. You don't have to live your life completely inside of a schedule, but it helps to be able to keep track of time. The biggest asset in your life is time. If you don't have time to do anything, you're not gonna be able to do the right things. Allot your time to do the specific things that you're trying to focus on. Look, organizing already. You're organizing your days and you're organizing your time. So just keep that in mind keeping a planner and a calendar. Create a physical schedule. So inside of that planner, you got a schedule that you're loosely following. Manage time and organize in your day. When you're making that schedule, a lot of time inside of your schedule to organize. I'll give you an example of what I mean by that. So when I'm done with every, every task for the day and I got time to chill, before I go chill, I write out my schedule for the next day. I organize my next day. Having a routine, a morning routine, a nighttime routine, practicing self-care daily. Like I said, nighttime routine, daytime routine. That boosts your self-esteem, gets the mind going, it wakes you up. You are important. You're the most important person. You're the leader here. You're the leader of your one-man tribe called whatever your name might be. I couldn't find an organizer or a planner that fits my lifestyle. And I created my own. <laughs> I created my own. which. It's on my website, hbsxpopup.com. So this ain't your average planner. And when you're organized, that rubs off on other people. When you following your purpose, being organized first is gonna help your concentration and your focus 10 times better. And then you're not concentrating on the things that make you sad also. You concentrating on what you believe in it will help change your life. Hopefully uh, this first part of the book of focus will help you. And it's a good start, I think, to getting everything organized in your life first before you start making the next step. It's your boy, Lord Shoe. If you hung with me this far, just leave an emoji. Let me know that you got this far in the video. Leave a comment. Let me know if uh, this video was helpful for you. Like the video to support the channel. Um, if you think this video can help someone, please send it to them. Let them know Lord Shoe is here to help, okay? <laughs> But anyways, y'all, I appreciate everybody watching the video. There's three more parts to the book of focus. So we wanna master these parts first, all right? So let's get organization down, y'all. Please don't be discouraged. This is another episode of Three Ones. Later, y'all.